On an emotional last ever match at the Goldstone ground, Brighton beat Doncaster 1-0 to move off the bottom. They're using National Lottery money to stop Brighton's West Pier from crumbling into the sea. Sadly, new funds have come too late to save the resort's other main attraction. It really was goodbye to the Goldstone today, and for the long-suffering fans, a farewell drink in the Last Chance Saloon. Tell me about your travel arrangements. Well, my travel arrangements started last night uh, when uh, I left my home in Washington, D.C., in the United States. Flew up to uh, New York, caught a plane over this morning. Got picked up at the airport by my father, uh, came here this morning, and we'll be heading back to the United States on uh, Monday. Been a fan for over 20 plus years, so probably a game I couldn't really miss. Steve, what's the mood of the lads? Very good. Uh, I think they're just waiting for three o'clock to come so they can go out there and do the job that they're paid for. Obviously, it's, uh, it's a day that the fans are hopefully going to enjoy, um, but the players' minds are focused totally on the game, and uh, if we can come out with the right result today, then it should be a fitting climax. There was a special cheer, too, for the man who's given the Seagulls hope. New chairman Dick Knight has ended the feuding in the boardroom. But for all the good intentions before the game, the underlying fear was bound to surface. Brighton, though, threw themselves at Rovers for much of the second half, and it was Stuart Storer who volleyed the goal that could well keep the Seagulls in the Football League. When the final whistle came, police and stewards made little attempt to stop the invasion, or to prevent the fans from grabbing a few souvenirs. It's been an amazing day, hasn't it? The, the tension there and the sadness as well. It must have been very difficult for the players. Yeah, it, it was a brilliant day. The atmosphere created. Uh, we didn't play very well, but at the end of the day, the result matters. And a lot of people are going home very happy, but probably with a tear in their eye as well. Demolition time then at the Goldstone, yet ironically the club are already building for a new future. Pete Backlough, Sky News, Brighton.